Olivia, like other three-year-olds, is happy and active. She is well cared for and pampered by her three older sisters. After all, Olivia is the baby of the family. Unfortunately, everything changed. Suddenly, Olivia lost her liveliness, her joy of life. She is irritable and sullen. Even her favorite games don't interest her anymore. Olivia has become a sad baby. Olivia was took sick. Uh, shortly after the holidays, her illness well, worried me, so I thought I'd go to the CHU first. She was very sick. Okay, I, I, I can't say that uh, she, it 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 was critical, but it was a, a serious problem. She had a high fever. She had to uh, a rash uh, on her skin, and uh, she presented to some stiffness. Uh, on her neck and we were worried about the fact that maybe she could have a meningitis and we did the test for that and we excluded the meningitis. Time goes by and her condition deteriorates. She must undergo new exams. Finally, Dr. Stéphane Tremblay identifies the sickness of the young patient, the staphylococcus doré. Gradually, the infection is starting to spread throughout her entire body. Their challenge was to locate, because this bacteria has a home within, within your system, and they had to locate where this bacteria was, and that was challenging because it, it's a bacteria that likes um, muscles, it likes movement, it likes pulsation, it likes uh, bones, it likes, so you know, it could be situated anywhere in the, in the child's body. The bacteria was found located in two, in two places of her body. It was located in her hip, and they called it an osteomyelite. And the other place that they located, which is a little bit even more nerve-wracking, it was behind the first um, vertebrae. And this one, that one, excuse me, uh, was uh, was more uh, problematic, okay, because. Uh, we need to rule out any abscess in her brain or uh, any extension of the infection on her spinal cord. But I think that when she consulted, it was uh, the right time. If the parents didn't consult, she could have died. Now that we know what we are fighting, the battle begins. The young Olivia must receive a massive dose of antibiotics by intravenous over a period of six long weeks. It's not frequent to receive uh, antibiotic for six weeks, okay? The reason why she had to, it's because she uh, had a blood infection, but she had two bones infection. Once reassured of her health, Dr. Tremblay puts everything in order so that Olivia can receive her treatments at home. The doctor suggests two possible solutions. Well, the first day we went home with the, uh, cat, uh, the pump system. We figured it would be easier and less time consuming and also for mother, as they say, to uh, catch up on her sleep and also, you know, it's, let's face it, you spend many uh, sleepless nights there worrying and scratching your head and so on. So we assumed, well, this would be the easiest way to go. And in the end, while well, we found it was more or less encumbered, the, the hosiery, uh, also Olivia, Olivia was frail too, let's face it, the machine was almost heavier than her. You know, she'd stagger around and with other three infants and uh, we are in the process of building a home at the time, so uh, the following day we went back with the idea, okay, this is not going to work. And the second option that they threw at us, and we weren't quite sure yet if we'd be willing to go down that line at that point, was a catheter, and we did the injections, or my wife did do the injections herself. We have to uh, install a catheter like this. We call, we call it a PEC line. We, put, we install this, the, this catheter in the arm of the kid, and the end of the catheter is close to the heart. Okay? And we um, teach uh, to the parents how to administer the antibiotic, how many times a, a, a day, and we uh, assure a follow-up with the parents and kid maybe once a week. Everyone has this bacteria in their body. However, only a few individuals will develop the illness. This infection develops only if all factors are present. 
When a child is affected with this illness, it's the entire family that fights with energy and determination. Olivia's willpower to fight this illness, coupled with her family's, along with the Shu medical staff's efforts, resulted in her winning battle. Happily, Olivia is once again a beautiful, fun-loving three-year-old. The parents were great, very, very great, and they participated uh, to the healthcare uh, very, very uh, uh, well. The staff was uh, was amazing. The staff was uh, very helpful. Um, they were there when I needed them. I just ring that bell, and they were there. Um, the medication, it was on time. Um, uh, I don't, I, they're very supportive. The story has a very happy ending. Um, she is uh, now running around with her friends, her sisters. Uh, uh, she is just the number four following the other three. And uh, she healed completely without any adverse effect.